I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase T. I just did a whole video. There was no sound. For that, I'm really sorry. So I'm going to do it fast this time because it's a rant. First, hellfire. Infierno do ajo verde. It's a great green sauce. Uh, Infierno de ajo verde. From Hellfire. I got a bunch of these sweatshirts. This is the one I wear the most. Kind of got to cover everything that I sort of covered in the first video. I'm sorry about that. This insanely tasty verde sauce is based on our multi award winning uh, Roasted Reaper uh, hot sauce feature on hot ones. Okay. Uh, but even more garlic. It's featuring the fire roasted uh, green. See if you can see the common denominator here. Fire roasted green jalapenos, green habaneros, green Carolina reapers, roasted garlic, green tom uh, tomatillos, scallions, and green Granny Smith apples. So they took all of that green stuff and shoved it in this bottle. Cilantro, onions, super, super tasty. What I said in the first video is that it has this ridiculously fresh smell, like you just made it. Super crisp. The here. The cumin, you can literally taste every single ingredient. And that's uh, the reason I said it, sometimes you can't. Sometimes they all blend in and you just sort of, incredible tasting sauce. It's beautiful. It would be, you know what, if you're, a, I've said since Jump Street, the channel is almost 10 years old, uh, 10, eight years old, Clo closing in on 10. Since the first green sauce I ever did, I said I have a thing for green sauces. Uh, and this one's spectacular. If you're a new chili head, this is going to be kind of warm for you. If you're a chili head and you like hot stuff, five and up. It's, it's just a very, very tasty, fresh, delicious sauce. To me, uh, the cilantro is crit. All of every every single spice in it is critical, but cilantro makes it for me. Now, you want to hear my rant? You want to hear my rant? Probably a good thing it was probably a good thing it was the sound didn't work so here's the rant um, I've shared with you a lot of the stuff that I'm doing I have a book deal I'm writing a book bought a new laptop to do that the laptop I bought was a Lenovo bought it from Walmart my beef is not with Walmart bought the uh, Walmart Lenovo took it home I don't go to weird sites. I do the same thing. I'm a creature of habit, big time creature of habit. I do the same thing every day. Got the computer going. Went to all the sites I do all the time just to do, and somehow, I don't know if I don't click on weird things. I don't go to weird sites. I picked up a virus on my computer. So anyway, I, I didn't, you know, look. All right, the last time I had a virus on the computer was probably 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Brought to Best Buy. So I live here in Tucson. So I looked up Best Buy. I think there are three locations in Best Buy. So what I did was I, uh, I got the Geek Squad there, Best Buy. So I took it to Best Buy. <clears throat> I had props in the first video. Had the laptop, had the Best Buy uh, receipt. No props in this one. Anyway, I'll tell you the story, though. So I, I bought the laptop, uh, got the virus, took it to Best Buy. $149, $150, bucks basically. Get a virus off a computer. Anyhow, Wednesday I dropped it off. Thursday they call me in the morning at 10 o'clock. They call me and say, "Hey, got your uh, computers fixed?" I said, "Super. I'm on my way down to get it." They said, "No, you can't." I said, "So what do you mean?" They said, "You got to set up an appointment to come get your laptop." I said, "Wait a minute. I, I, you know, you have my laptop. I paid you to fix it. It's done. I can't just come and get it because it's 10 o'clock." I got a book to write. So uh, they said, yeah, you got to set an appointment. I said, what's the earliest appointment you got? 120. I said, I'll take it. So they said, you'll get an uh, email confirming this and give me a, you know, confirming everything. I said, okay. I dropped it off at the 575 or 595 wet, Wetmore, something like that. Uh, <clears throat> The email says, pick up your computer, or you have an appointment to get your computer at 120 at 6025 Broadway. 
I'm like, well, I didn't drop my computer off at Broadway. But I was thinking, look, I've never uh, used, uh, I haven't, first of all, I haven't used Best Buy in a really long time. I don't know, I, I've never used Best Buy here in Tucson. I didn't know if they have a system where they're fixed in once or they're sent to a place to get fixed and that's right, you know, and they didn't tell me, I didn't know, right? So I go down there and it took up 40 minutes or so, between 40 minutes and an hour, 45 minutes and an hour or so before, this person has disappeared for a while. Woman couldn't figure out who I was disappeared. I'm standing there like, I looked at Tom and I'm like, man, this is going to be foobar. I could just tell. So uh, finally she comes back. She goes, you're out in the system. I had a feeling you said, she goes, there's no record of you in the system. You don't have your laptop. I'm like, I showed her. I'm like, why did you tell me to come here? I got, I, nobody could tell me anything. I leave, I was get, get, before I even drive over to the other place, I'm going to get on and call Best Buy. You would have a better chance of, of predicting the winning lottery tickets on two or three consecutive days in a row than you would having the, your odds of calling the store where your laptop is at and getting somebody at that store. Can't do it. So I was on the phone with their system. It was insane. So they tell me where it's at. I wasted two hours. So I, I called them. I'm like, you know what? They, they, I, so I told them I was unhappy. They're they like, man, you should be unhappy. I spoke to somebody, one of their people, not at the location, but in their phone system. They said, we're going to have one of their representatives uh, drive it out to your home. I said, well, thank you. So Thursday came and went, no computer. So Friday morning, I'm like, I'm going to get my computer. I'm not going to wait. So Tommy and I drive over to the place where I dropped it off, and I'm like, I'd like to get my computer. So it took, I, I, I paid him already. It's fixed. He should be able to go, there's your computer, sign here. It took him 20 minutes, half hour. I'm like, what in the world is going on? I already paid. You told me it's done. It was done yesterday. So he comes up, he goes, it'll be $40. I said, for what? I paid you already. He goes, for a setup fee. I said, What's a setup fee? He goes, your computer wasn't set up. I said, I, I said, I got a virus on it. Of course it was set up. And I didn't ask for that setup fee. I'm not paying for it. I need to speak to your manager. So, uh, Princess Isabella and Ethan, those were the uh, three people I spoke with there. Oh, their last names were on the card, but I'm not going to say their last names. But uh, anyway, they, I didn't, they didn't charge me for the $40. All right, so I, I told them, I just said, this is really horrible service, man. Three days, three hours of driving around to, to get it, and you want to give me, charge me for more money for something I didn't ask for. So I leave, I, take, I leave, and I come home, and I swear to you, I'm telling you a true story. I, I get home, I open the laptop, hit one button, Virus, you get a virus. <laughs> Gives me a choice, you want to scan it or, dele or delete this? I delete it, virus, vi I can't use the computer. They did nothing. They did nothing to my computer. So I called them and said, uh, I need you to, uh, I, said, I, I, got, I got them on the phone, I said, I can't believe this happened. I spoke to MJ. Uh, MJ was pretty cool. MJ, uh, this is at their, not in the location, but this is at their phone service. MJ says, uh, yeah, I'd be upset. He goes, here's what we're going to do. We're going to file a complaint on that store. I said, I like the way you're thinking, MJ. He says, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a technician come to your home and fix it in your home. I said, yes, capital thinking. There you go. I have a person making decisions here. He goes, I'm going to forward, I'm going to pass you. I'm going to transfer you right now to the people who are going to set up the appointment. All right? I said, hey. I don't want to go to the same the same place. I don't want to go to the one on Wetmore or whatever it is. I want to go to the one on Broadway. It's like sending your meal back to a restaurant. You know, the same cook's going to make it again. I don't, I don't like that restaurant. I'm going to go to the other one. He goes, all right, I'm going to transfer you right now. I'm like, MJ, I'm going to shout you out, MJ. So MJ transfers me, but he doesn't transfer me anywhere. I, I, I He goes from, hey, you know, he was really cool, too. He said, what's your channel? Because I told him, I said, I'm busy. I don't have time for this. Uh, I told him I'd give him a shout out. But here's the problem, MJ. MJ, you, uh, you're supposed to transfer me to the person that was going to come over and fix my computer, and you did. So what happens, I'm sitting there on the phone, and it says, please enter your, your three-digit transfer code. 
You know what I'm talking about, because you, you, know you know what I'm talking about, MJ. Anyway, it's, I, I'm like, I don't have a transfer code, so I, I, I didn't know what to do. So I hit zero, zero, zero. I said, no, oh, no, that's not your transfer code. Enter your transfer code. So, so I hit one, two, three, and guess what? It worked. So I got somebody else. I had to tell the entire story again. He said, we'll have somebody come out to your house and fix it. Nobody came out to my house and fixed it. So uh, what I did was I took the computer back to Walmart. They're very cool at Walmart. I brought the computer back. <clears throat> I said to Walmart, um, I was really honest. I said, I bought the computer. It's got a bad, it's got a virus on it. I don't know how I got a virus on it. In fact, when I got it, I, I said to them, where did it come from? They said, something you clicked on. I'm like, I don't click on anything. Anyhow, uh, I brought it back to Walmart and said, I want to get, I'm going to buy a different computer. I want to trade it up. I, I bought a better computer that has, yeah, bought a better computer. Bought an HP this time. Uh, anyway, uh, they were very good to me at Walmart. So I called back uh, Best Buy, and I spoke, I spoke to the people at Best Buy. I said, I want a refund. They're not going to give me a refund. They pay. I, and it's really funny because I opened the computer at Walmart. I said, why are you bringing it back? I pushed a button. <laughs> it's a, you have a virus. They're like, yeah. I said, I'm sorry. And they'll, they'll, they'll fix it. And that's what they do. But... Uh, so Walmart took care of me. But Best Buy took $149 from me. They didn't do anything. They took my computer for three days. Uh, I, I took three or four hours of my time. I could have been writing and doing productive things. And uh, they're not refunding me. So when I was on the phone with their representative, I said, you know, I did it with my credit card. I'm just going to say it was fraudulent. I'm going to dispute it, dispute the charges. And you'll have to deal with a fraudulent charge. Uh, you know, you have to deal with a case that, that, that they'll refund me. You didn't do anything. You didn't, you didn't fix it. You didn't do anything. So they're going to refund me. And then instead, what they should have done is just said, geez, I'm really sorry. I don't know how that slipped through the cracks. And they could, should have just refunded me. But they didn't. So this is a cautionary tale. This is what I said in the first video. There's a million places to get a computer fix. I will never do that again. You know what I'll do? I'll find a person who just got out of college and, and started, hung their shingle and says, I can fix computers. That's who I'll go to next time. So my suggestion to you is, here, and, and the, this is the reason this is important. It's not a rant. This is a cautionary tale. This could happen to you. The reason this is important, this video will be here long after I'm dead. Someone's going to see this. It may not be today. It may be today. Somebody watching this today. Obviously, it'll be the day because that's when you watch it. But the day, it may be the day I upload it. Somebody may see this and go, wow, you know what? I was about to go to Best Buy. Better not do that. You don't understand something. You can't talk to somebody at Best Buy. You'll talk to somebody in India or Indonesia or wherever their phone system is, their, their call room. But you can't talk to somebody at Best Buy. They don't care about you. And if they do a job or they don't do a job, but they charge you anyway, they're going to keep your money. Then you'll have to fight with the, the credit card company. So, you know what? It was just a bad experience. So somebody's going to see this. If you see it, find somebody that will tr see you as a human being and go, wow, I can fix your computer. You can call them and talk to them on the phone. Don't go to Best Buy. It's a terrible. Princess, you should be ashamed of yourself. Isabella, you too. Ethan, you were more cool of, the other, of all of them. But seriously, you guys did a terrible disservice. I think the reason that Ian, uh, Ethan was bobbing and weaving and shucking and jiving for the first 30 minutes he was in there is he realized that my computer wasn't done and I was going to figure that out. Somehow I was told it was done when it hadn't been touched yet and he didn't have the stones to tell me. I think that's kind of what was going on with Ethan. But either way, it was, a, it was a bad deal. If you have a computer to fix, first of all, forget fixing a computer. I don't care. There's no reason to ever walk into a Best Buy. There isn't. There isn't. There's, it's reverse customer service. They're going to do everything they can to keep you on the phone, lose you, hang up on you. Don't go to Best Buy. Sorry. The only people that are going to dislike this are probably people that work at Best Buy. It's a bad company. That's my opinion. It's a horrible experience. Find somebody local, somebody who's starting a business, and support them. It's smarter. In the description box, you're going to see a link for a 10 percent discount right now link in the description box please check out this is a, a delightful sauce 
Um, that is my rant. Don't go there. Don't go to Best Buy. In the description box, you'll see Hellfire Hot Sauce, one of my favorite sauce companies ever. It's got buzzed by a hummingbird. Right there is my son, Johnny Scoville Jr. Please check him out. Right there is the life of my brother right here. All the challenges I've done since I started the channel. Right here is Pepperology. Sorry for the rant. Sorry for the earlier video. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.